I gotta say, you know, what an amazing year for cinema. You know, how many great films are out this year? It's, 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 we're, we're, we're lucky to be alive and watching movies right now in this period of time. And to have my film as part of that slate, it's incredibly humbling. Uh, I'm just excited and it feels like a good time. Everybody's excited. I mean, I've had the privilege in my career to work with some of the greatest actors in the world and it continues in this film. Um, Jodie Comer is a revelation uh, to me personally as an artist. Uh, the work that she did on this film is, is stunning. Tom Hardy is a force of nature. He's like a tornado or a hurricane. You can't take your eyes off of him, and it's the same in this film. Um, and Austin Butler, what can you say? He's one of the most beautiful people in the world, and this guy is a stone-cold movie star. And when you see him in this film, uh, you'll agree. And what's fantastic is you have those three up front, but then you have this depth of actors that are so stellar. When behind them, you've got Michael Shannon and Boyd Holbrook and Damon Harriman and Emery Cohen, Carl Glusman. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And everywhere I pointed my camera, there was an actor doing something amazing. Uh, I think I think you can expect a good ride. Um, this is one of the fastest moving films that I've, I've made. Because uh, what you're really doing is, is you're trying to understand a subculture. But above anything, you're trying to get a feeling. This film represents a feeling in a, in a very specific place at a very specific moment in time that's gone forever. And I just wanted to take people back and give them a taste of that feeling. Yeah, this idea came from a book of photographs by Danny Lyon. Uh, he was in his early 20s and he photographed um, uh, a motorcycle club in Chicago. And the photographs are brilliant and they're super compelling. But you know, the thing is, there's also interviews that read like monologues in the middle. And when you combine those two together, you get probably the most complete portrait of a subculture I've ever seen. And, uh, and that's really where the inspiration for the film came from. Well, you know, what's interesting is um, I think a lot of period films, they they affect the, the color of the film to make it look old. We shot this film exactly the way we shoot all of our films, which starts on film, on Kodak, uh, but then with the density of the production design, the costumes, the hair, the makeup, once you add all of those things together, it looks like the 1960s. I've, I've made six films and Sarah Green's been a producer on five of them. And I can honestly say, my career wouldn't be where it is without Sarah Green um, doing all of the work that she does to make these films possible. Um, yeah, she's changed, she's changed my career.